Moving on now, Sudan is facing its worst economic crisis since the military coup in October 2021. Some parts of the country, like the Omdurman, is facing water shortages. In Khartoum, uncollected rubbish litters the streets. While power cuts in the country is causing traffic jams at intersections, the war in Ukraine is also contributing to the problem, as the cost of everything in the market is inflated. Here's a report on the same. In Omdurman, across the White Nile from Sudan's capital, Khartoum, the local water supply has been dry for weeks. To wash and drink, people have to buy from private tankers, one cost of a political stalemate since a military coup in October. In the Al Shigla neighborhood, resident Abdallah Al Said says a lack of water is a big problem. In terms of health, we cannot clean properly, wash clothes or clean bathrooms, so health problems happen. This is along with the financial problems because we are obliged to buy water even for drinking. It's not just residents struggling with their finances. In response to the military takeover, the international community turned off the tap on billions of dollars in funding just as war in Ukraine pushed the cost of key imports higher. Finance Minister Jibril Ibrahim. During 2022 and 2023, we were expecting nearly $4 billion from the World Bank. Including $500 million for irrigation and drinking water and $780 million for electricity. Ibrahim said the government has refrained from printing money to finance a deficit and that state revenue rose by two-thirds over the past six months. But inflation means spending has grown even faster. The monthly bill for public sector salaries alone stands at $394 million, up from $118 million at the start of the year. That's on top, Ibrahim said, of rising costs for fuel, wheat and other imports. There is some relief on the horizon after the United Arab Emirates agreed to build a new Red Sea port in Sudan as part of a $6 billion investment package. The deal, according to one of the partners, will include a free trade zone, a large agricultural project and, perhaps crucially, an imminent $300 million deposit to Sudan's central bank. But in the meantime, citizens continue to struggle with crumbling services. In Khartoum, uncollected rubbish litters the streets. Major intersections are often jammed as traffic lights lose power in an economy that appears to be grinding to a halt. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.